make your ram part two make your ram pop part two it's your boy Klosk 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 thumbs there it is all said and done she looks pretty good so I think I'm ready to peel her I just finished my Easter dinner and uh, so it's been a good good half hour anyways that's what it recommends before you uh, start peeling so I couldn't find any toothpicks so I kind of just whittled down some you know relatively rugged pieces of stick that I found out back but yeah just to get in there make it a lot easier you don't have to worry about scratch nothing trying to use like a razor blade or something like that but all right what I'm gonna do first is just undo this tape That off, throw it down, grab this one, inside here, boom, um, as I'm pulling them, I'm pulling them down away from whatever, wherever the line is, so to this, this one obviously I'll pull, and pull to the right, try to leave me a good line here to play with. So obviously the more stuff you have on there, like the can said, the easier it is to peel. So, here goes nothing. I'm gonna start at this top, top corner here. It feels a little different than, it's almost got like a solider finish. Maybe that's the vinyl. Jeez. This comes off. Sorry about the video, guys. I'm gonna have to invest in a tripod and a camera, I think, if I continue doing this. Make your ram pop. Eesh. It's not coming off very good. I wonder if I should have went thicker around the outside. I didn't even think to. I was focused on getting the, the badge there covered good. I mean, it is coming off though, so I might have to play with it a little bit. But uh, you guys get the general idea here. All right, I'm gonna try using two hands. Um, I'll come back on for a second when I do the centers there just to give you guys a little how-to on that. All right, quick pointer here. Um, I left this back edge here just to show you guys real quick. Uh, you know, where you had your border around the whole sticker, or the emblem, excuse me. Um, you had this edge here where the tape came off. And, you know, you try to peel it up just a little bit at a time. You know, you can do it. But what I found, if I just roll this top edge over real quick, it breaks that initial seal where the tape was. And then you can really get in there. Then I, I found the more fingers that you can get behind a section, the better it's going to peel for you, too. But, uh, yeah, it's not that bad once you get going on it and you figure out a couple little tricks to make it easier on you. But what I was doing is getting as big as sections. I was pretty much doing the tops of each letter at once or the sides, like now. But, uh, you know, you lay it almost onto the emblem and then you come back boom you know there's gonna be some residual stuff that you're gonna have to deal with and uh, that brings me to my next step here so let's check out this R sorry guys <clears throat> so 
what I'm gonna do here is just kind of scribe that. See if it won't just peel off slightly, you know, like so. Get a little bit up in there. You can come back with a microfiber cloth or whatever, you know, and lightly almost sand the rest of that out. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea anyways. <laughs> and it happened here on the circle of the R2. This is why I opted for, uh, I didn't, I couldn't find any toothpicks real quick. And uh, this is another reason I opted for this stick here is because I knew it would be easier to work with and uh, obviously going to be quite a bit stronger than a toothpick. I'd probably be snapping toothpicks right now. Yeah, see I'm definitely going to have to clean this up a little bit when you don't get a clean peel. But that's fine. I mean, it'll clean right up. You know, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, especially while I'm trying to hold the phone, it, it's kind of a pain. But yeah, you know, I didn't get all the way up in here, so just take that, slowly pull, get up under a little more, give it a little shaky do. Boom. Let's see if we can't get this one to. This is the same idea as what you're gonna do um, in the uh, the circle of the R and the uh, the triangle of the A. Just gonna start getting in there and try to get it out. And I was also thinking too, like I was, you know, talking about getting a good surround coat so that it'll peel easier, but. I didn't think to do it even after talking about it so yeah that was wise of me all right let's see if you guys are gonna be able to see this I'm just gonna try to get this thing kind of going here on the edge with a little stick oh darn it I dug that up because I wasn't paying attention again. Sorry, I can fix it. Okay, I'll get her, start giving her a little back and forth, get under her again. Might be able to grab it with my fingers for the most part now. And go real slow. Just enough pressure to make it peel. That's how you're gonna get your cleanest lines anyways from what I've kind of experienced here. Just like that. Here we go guys, you know. I'm gonna clean the rest of this up real quick, but uh, I will uh, pop back on here in a second and show you the finished product. Boom, there it is, all said and done. And definitely, uh, I'm gonna have to do something else too, but I, I really like it. it. You know, like I said, it definitely make you, your brand pop, for sure. I'm thinking maybe uh, the plate cover there, pull that back off. I plasti dipped it, it was chrome. Um, so it's already got a base coat, which is good. And it doesn't really matter anyways. I'm just going to coat the whole thing. So I just pop it off of those two bolts and then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, Hey, go figure today is 420 or wait, no, that was yesterday. Oh, my bad. Yesterday was 420, but, uh, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So pop that off. So I'd have some green here around the plate numbers and then bang 
it's pretty similar color it's not spot on but you gotta love the Kawasaki green you know and then once you stand into a side view I got that right there that ram right there green also on the other side like I said maybe the edge of that rims um, plate cover in the front which is also was chrome my plastic dipped it black I don't really like chrome all that much I don't care for it or maybe you know actually I'd probably keep the plate cover black if I decide to do this push plate in green that might might look pretty good um, you know it, it's hard to tell if it would be too much if I just want to do the ram and the plate cover and leave that silver or black it out you know I want to do something with it first of all just for the protection I mean why not you know um, I would say it's aluminum I don't know maybe some sort of yeah, it's probably like a tin with some sort of paint on it. That'd be my guess. Some sort of light steel. Green there. You know, and who knows? Maybe. Jeez. It's hard to tell, guys. I don't know. Any suggestions? Please. Please feel free to comment. Subscribe. Hit that like button. It's your boy, Klaus. Klaus Customs. Everybody have a great day. Make your ram pop. Peace.